Okay, today we're going to look at the differential electrochemical mass spectrometer that Wei Li built. Uh, this is an instrument that allows us to look at the effluent from the fuel cell as a function of cell potential with the hope of learning something about the mechanism of fuel cell degradation. We're going to start right at the beginning and uh, take you right through the process. Okay? So here have, you know, have gas tanks and uh, for this experiment we need a helium gas and a hydrogen gas and a nitrogen gas. Okay. And uh, the hydrogen and the nitrogen share the same, you know, same path, gas path to the fuel cell and helium is another. Okay. So this is a mass flow functional, mass flow rate functional, and we use channel two to control the uh, hydrogen or nitrogen, and uh, channel three for the helium gas, and the, the flow mass flow rate for the hydrogen fifty. Now we're going to uh, look at the flow of those gases into the humidifiers. Okay? Okay, so this is the anode side, this is the cathode side. Alright. So the anode is the, uh, you know, from the gas hydrogen from channel 2 and it flows through this tube to the humidifier. Whaley, this is a, a new design for a humidifier. Can you describe that in a little, little more detail? Okay, yeah. This is uh, the advantage of this humidifier have you know this kind is this kind of no metals component inside. No metal. Okay. Yeah, no metals. Yeah, and we use the Napier tube to humidify the gas, so the dry gas go inside the Napier tube. And the other side is the DI water. So the DI water will be transferred through the Napier tube and humidify the gas inside. And uh, the you know the company that made this Napier tube and uh, they they can make sure they test it, you know. Uh, this humidifier is pretty stable and uh, completely. Okay. And and you, you heat it just with a simple hot plate underneath, oh, yeah, yeah, underneath the water. water. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, if we just heat it, the hot water will go up and the, the, you know, the cool water will go down, so it will mix too well by the, you know, the, the conversion. conversion. Okay. Right. And then over on the other side, yes. you, you have the humidifier for the cathode. Cathode. And the same, same principle, and it goes to the cathode, you know, the gas, the helium gas can dry helium gas, and it goes through the humidifier, and then dry it and go to the uh, fuel cell. To the fuel cell. Okay, we'll talk about that next. Okay, now we're going to look at the fuel cell, yeah. and uh, we have two fuel cells here. We're actually using this front one, okay? Yes. So, Wei Li, go ahead and describe that. Okay, so first, this is the anode. All right. This is the cathode. And in dams, we use the anode as the reference electrode, also the common electrode. So there's two cables, you know. This goes to the current electrode, and this is the reference electrode, they, they hook together. And this is a working electrode, you know, the cathode okay. side. We want to investigate the carbon corrosion at the cathode. And okay, so the exhaust gas from the cathode here will heat, heat, one twenty degrees C. The line out of the cathode, uh, okay. Yeah. Yes. And then you know, it will be taken by the mass spectrometer. This is the category in red of the mass spectrometer. Where are we? Okay, there we go. Okay. Yes. And that goes Go to over the to the mass spectrometer. Okay, let me 